So today I went down to my mailbox and checked it like a responsible adult and I found an Ipsy and a Birchbox. I know this is a little bit late, some people have already done their unboxings, but since I don't check my mail every day like a normal person, I didn't know that I had them. So let's film an unboxing, yo pickle. I don't remember which one we started with last time, so I'm just gonna go ahead and start with Birchbox. There's a little card on top that says, August, the month where your blow dryer goes into hibernation. Ooh, I like this. I'm gonna start with this. It says tee hee 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 hee. There's two products. The first thing is an Aloxy Thickening Serum. The styling aid creates head turning volume while banning frizz and strengthening hair. That sounds like something I could use. Ooh, yeah, it smells good. My hair's been looking kind of fine lately, I think because it's getting longer. I actually asked a stylist recently if I had fine hair, and she said, you have a lot of hair, but it's fine strands. And I said, well, like on a shampoo bottle, does that mean I have fine hair? And she said, no. But I feel like it's a little fine looking, so Model Co. Shimmer Bronzing Powder. To be honest, this looks really dark. I will try it. It looks quite dark. I might just pass it on to a friend. Um, it looks kind of scary in the, in the little pot to be perfectly sincere with you guys. The next product is the Wish Shave Crave Shaving Cream in a Side Grapefruit. And this says it's a BB exclusive, so I don't know if that means the scent or the product altogether, but you can only get it on Birchbox. This smells like a fruity bubble gum. If you put Juicy Star 07 into a shaving cream, you would have this because it smells like juicy fruit and like something. It smells really nice. I'm a fan. Next is this CRX Birch Sap Moisturizing Lotion for Preventative Anti-Aging. And it says, a powerful mix of seaborne ingredients work to hydrate and smooth your skin for glowing results for your face and body. Yeah, that sounds nice. It's, it actually, I thought it was a toothpaste because it looks like a little toothpaste. He's knocking bobby pins one by one off of my kitchen counter. Why are there bobby pins on my kitchen counter? I'm a beauty hashtag guru. Last product in the box is the Harvey Prince Ageless Iconic Pink Grapefruit Perfume. Grapefruit is like the thing of this box. It's only been in two products, but this whole thing smells like grapefruit. Um, and this says, grapefruit sandal with blend leaves skin smelling youthful with a spring in your step. Let me smell it. I don't really like getting perfume samples, but the thing about perfume samples is I just feel like I don't ever try them. I have full-size perfumes that I reach for. I feel like I get these and I smell it. If I like it, I put it in a little like bin to try and I never, ever reach for them. I never do. I don't know. Yeah, kind of going agrees. That was everything for the Birch Box, so let's see how Ipsy compares. Inside the bag, there is the makeup bag, and then there's also something floating loose. Birchbox gives a little card with information about each product and what the prices full size are. Ipsy doesn't do that, so you just kind of have to go, what's this product, and read about it on the packaging. This is Urban Decay Perversion. Is this a mascara? I've wanted to try this. Oh my goodness, I wanted to try this. I'm so excited. I can't open it. Oh, yes. Okay, I love, love getting mascara samples. It's probably my favorite type of sample other than eye creams to get, and I'm very excited. Oh, it's a primer. Well, that's exciting too, a lash primer. Yeah, it's a primer. Um, no, it's a mascara. Sorry, I'm confused. It's so intense, you might need a safe word. Perversion mascara glides on and gets you sexy in one stroke. Oh, it is a mascara because it says for even sicker lashes, start with the primer. Okay, so it's the mascara. I'm excited, I'm gonna try this. I'm excited. I'll let you guys know on Twitter or Instagram what I think because I love, love mascara samples and I wanted to try this one. All right, so getting into the little makeup bag. This one's quite cute. I'm not always the biggest fans of the makeup bags they pick. I like this one, I do. I do. First thing is a Chlorine dry shampoo. I love this. I have used this multiple times. I haven't purchased it in a while. I haven't tried it in a while, actually. I've been using other ones, but I remember loving this, so I'm very happy to get a little travel-sized 
dry shampoo you can stick it in your purse when you're out and about or if you're staying the night with a friend that's sometimes when you need dry shampoo the most so I almost feel like it's even more useful in a travel size than it would be in a full size so all this I did plus I haven't tried that in a while next there is a J cat beauty flying solo eyeshadow in half naked it's a pretty neutral color it's pretty much the exact color of my skin with a little bit of shimmer it definitely looks pretty yeah it's all sealed I should like swatch it but it's all sealed I think I gotta get scissors to open that Next is the Jersey Shore Sun Mongogo Nutrient Dense Anti-Aging Lip Conditioner. I normally am not that keen on like chapstick kind of lip balms. However, I'm interested that this says anti-aging and it's organic and it has a bunch of like oils and stuff. I am, I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna try it right now. Mm -hmm. Yep, yeah, I like that. I really do like this. This is a keeper, this is a winner for chapsticks, and I'm not normally a chapstick girl. Last product is the Dr. Brandt Pores No More Pore Refining Primer. Does this have silicone? That is the question. It's for oily combination skin, it's a mattifying pore refiner, and you can wear it under or over makeup. That's interesting. But I have to check and see if it has silicones. Also, I don't have oily combination skin. So I might pass this on to Blair if it doesn't have silicone because we're both allergic. If it does have silicone, then I will pass it on to the friend that I'm gonna give my perfume sample to. So as far as a winner here, gosh, I feel like they're tied. I feel like they're tied this month because I love the Perversion Mascara and I do really like the chapstick. Oh, and I love the dry shampoo. So Ipsy was definitely a win. And then for Birchbox, what did I love? I love the shaving cream, anti-aging lotion. You know what? Ipsy won. Ipsy totally won. Which I think Birchbox won last time. So they're both great. They're both $10. I will have links below if you guys are interested in learning more about them. But they're $10 a month and they're sample services. So you get different things each month and you have like little profiles you fill out. You guys know the drill. Um, you know about, everyone knows about Birchbox and Ipsy. It's like, one of the most commonly known about things in the YouTube beauty world. I also got a glossy box in the mail, but when I opened it, cause I was just gonna do all three in this video, even though I normally only do Birch Box and Ipsy. When I opened it though, it's July's glossy box. But I also got a 4th of July Stars and Striped themed glossy box, which I thought was July, so I thought this was August. I'm confused. What I think I'm gonna do is I will do an Instagram unboxing of this glossy box on my Instagram. So if you guys wanna see what I got in my July Glossy Box, which just came in the mail, Glossy Box does tend to be a little bit behind Birch Box and Ipsy, so that might actually, the timing might be right. I'm just getting confused. Um, but if you wanna know what came in my Glossy Box, you can check out my Instagram. And my Instagram is Miss L. Fowler, so yeah. I don't know why I said it's so prim and proper, like it's, it's Miss L. Fowler, but it, it is. Okay, well I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And um, I have about a thousand bobby pins on the floor now that I have to pick up um, due to my, my loving feline that lives in the house with me. And yeah, I will see you guys with my next video.